The Athena Lady Eagles live to fight another day after forcing a knockout game against the USD Golden Tigresses for the UAP Women's Volleyball title. And to explain how Atenea forced a game three, uh, we're joined by legends, Miss Chara Soriano and Miss Michelle Gumabao. Thank Hello, legends. So much. It's an Thanks honor to again, again, again. <laughs> Okay, what a what a game and what a series th this has become. Uh, so uh, Atenea winning game two, and you wanted to uh, bring up Dani Ravenna's performance in game two. I mean, how crucial was her performance for Atenea? I mean, she did a double-double. It's uh, 12 and 22, respectively. And for me, that's one of the things that we've always been saying. If Ateneo would only have reception, would only have better floor defense, then they have a better chance of winning. And that's what happened. I think she really embraced her role now as a libero. And she's stepping up her game. Everybody's so proud of her, and we can't wait what she will do also in Game 3. Well, watching the game yesterday, Sir Miko, when she was pulled out from the bench, everybody, even I was beside Eliza, 30 was right in front of me. So, <laughs> parang, nobody knew how Dani was going to perform. Yeah. But when she started out, when she came from the bench, she really played great. Nahirapan pumatay ang USC. They had a hard time scoring points and getting their attacks to, to across the floor, across the net. So, it was really a great game for Dani. That game was really her best in this final so far, and she made it so easy. For Dina Wong to be able to come up with plays. Yeah. Uh, Mozi and Bong Ravenna were crying oh. during the uh, player of the game interview. Ni Danny, you don't see that often, but yes, yes. those are proud parents, and uh, you know we'll see if Danny can have a repeat performance in Game Three.